Hey guys, how are you going? Um, just a quick video today on the CSS3 filter property. Um, so essentially, uh, the filter property allows you to apply various different filters or effects on typically images using pure CSS. So it's very easy to use and it's actually quite powerful. So in this video, I'm going to be covering what I think are some of the more popular um, filters you can actually apply using this property right here. Also, um, the property is animatable, which means you can use it to, of course, transition between um, one filter to another or simply no filter to a filter. So let's go inside the text editor right here. Uh, we can see here I've just got a, um, a My Image uh, ID for the CSS rule set. So let's go down here and apply the filter property on this image. So I'm going to say filter like this and the first one to take a look at is going to be the blur value. So I'm going to say blur like this and then pass in a pixel value such as 5px just like that. And that's actually quite blurred. So I'm going to save this and refresh the browser and we have this result right here. Now obviously it's quite blurred for 5px so just keep that in mind. Uh, something like 5px is probably fine in most cases. Um, also, uh, the filter property, um, for it to work properly in Safari, um, I've read that you need to actually use the WebKit vendor prefix. So, by adding this right here, dash WebKit dash filter, uh, like this, uh, this will now ensure it works in Safari, or at least um, it ensures it works in, I think, most of the recent versions of Safari. Um, Although I did actually, um, I was able to use the filter property by itself on my um, on my iPad and it worked just fine. So maybe recently, in a recent update, um, the filter property works by itself in Safari, but I believe uh, to be safe, you want to use the WebKit filter um, property to ensure compatibility with Safari. Um, so let's move on to the next value that is going to be brightness. So in a very similar fashion, I'm going to say brightness just like this. And here this will take a number between 0 and 1 or sorry, it's going to take a number by itself or a percentage. So for example, if I was to say 1 inside here for brightness, that basically means 100% brightness and that means it's going to be the same image. So I'm going to save this and refresh and right here we get the same result. The brightness has not been touched. If I was to make the brightness a value of 0 for example, it's now going to be black. So I can save this and refresh and we can see it is now black. So essentially um, you have a range of 0 to then uh, essentially infinity to adjust the brightness. So if I was to say 0 0.5 it is now half as bright. Save this, refresh, we can see that right there. Um, if I was to make this something like 2 it is now going to be double as bright. Save this and refresh and of course we get this right here. Okay, cool. So next we have the contrast property and it works in virtually the same way. If I was to say contrast right here, then I say um, 1, that is going to be the exact same result. Save this, refresh, same image, it has been untouched. If I was to make this of course something like 2, it is now going to have double the contrast. Save this, refresh, you can see here, double the contrast right there. Um, the grayscale uh, value works a bit differently, uh, so I can say grayscale just like this. So a grayscale um, value of 0 is going to be um, the default. Save this, refresh, no change. Um, a grayscale of uh, 1 is going to be fully black and white. Save this, refresh, we can see here, we get a fully black and white image. Anything in between is going to make it obviously uh, only that amount of grayscale. So essentially, uh, 0.5 will make it half as uh, half as black and white. Save this, refresh, and a bit of color is still there. Um, the invert uh, uh, value uh, works in a similar fashion to grayscale, uh, where the zero is the default. But if you were to make invert um, one, of course, it's going to fully invert the image. Save this, refresh. We can see here. The colors have been inverted. Um, an invert of 0.5 will make it gray, and that is that middle ground um, during the invert. 
save this, refresh, it is now fully grey. So now you basically have between 0.5 and 1 and also 0.5 and 0 uh, to adjust the invert. For example, 0.75 is going to make it mostly inverted. Save this, refresh, and we get this result right here. Uh, next up is the saturate property. This works just like brightness and contrast where uh, 1 will be um, the current value. So for example, we can do this right here. 1, that's going to be the same thing. If I was to make saturate 0, save this and refresh, we have a black and white image. Um, of course, if I was to make this um, 2, the colors are going to be uh, double as strong. Save this, refresh, we get a, uh, obviously a much more colorful image right there. The last one here is going to be sepia, and I hope I pronounced that right. Um, sepia just like this. A sepia of 0 is going to be the same thing. A sepia of 1 is going to be um, a fully uh, sepia, I guess you can call it, image. Save this and refresh. We get this right here. Um, please leave a comment below if I pronounced sepia incorrectly. Um, so finally here, I'm going to talk about, of course, um, the transition or the animation. So for example, uh, just one example here. Um, if I was to, let's just say, uh, you know what, let's leave the filter. Let's, let's remove the filter completely just like this. Then I can say my image on hover. We're going to just going to change uh, the filter copy just like this. So filter, we can say, for example, brightness as being uh, zero, for example, right? Then, of course, save this refresh. And now it'll turn to zero when I hover over, just like this. But of course, um, this property is animatable, which means I can then say transition and say filter at 0 0.5 seconds. It'll now add, uh, sorry, um, it'll now animate uh, at half a second to change the brightness to be zero. Save this and refresh one last time. We can see now it'll slowly transition to a um, a, um, a zero brightness right there. And that is the CSS3 filter property. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.